So for this trip report, we're going to go to the beautiful state of Alaska to photograph bears. So we started off at our home in Michigan. And from Michigan, we flew to Seattle. And then from Seattle to Anchorage. So we arrive at the small plane airport in Anchorage and weigh ourselves and our bags so we can figure out how to distribute the weight properly in the small plane. Then we board the plane for the one hour flight down to Cook Inlet where the adventure will begin. This is Maurice. He's got designs on my sweet Nicole. Oh, Maurice is fun. <laughs> <laughs> he worked it out so he could sit next to her. I know what you're doing, Maurice. Here we are arriving into this beautiful location. It is really an epic location surrounded by snow-capped mountains and, and, and lots of water. It was really a beautiful place. And we come into our lodge. This is Silver Salmon Creek Lodge. Oh, and we love this lodge. It is run by David and Joanne and their son Oliver. It's one of the iconic lodges in this area and is really the best place to stay. It's got comfortable beds, fantastic food, great staff. It's just fantastic. We love it. So we store our bags and get ready to head out into the wilds to photograph bears. This is wild. <laughs> And this is our mode of transportation. So uh, we're pulled by ATVs in these wagons. Um, it's very comfortable. We carry our gear on our laps. Um, most people just bring a couple lenses. We used our 200 to 400, and I had a 70 to 200 on my, uh, on my hip. For, and that worked for 99% of the stuff. I think we had a small backpack with a with a wide-angle lens in it. Um, the guy at the head of the ATV there is Mark. That was our guide. He was awesome. He put us in some really great situations, knew a lot about bears, understood their behavior, and uh, just was an all-around all, all great guy to hang around with. Yeah. And this is what they do. They drive us out. Back Here we are headed back towards the lodge after a day of shooting or an evening of shooting. And they do, in fact, take us everywhere. <laughs> Sometimes we forge the rivers. So we head out to do the bears, and of course it's all about the bears and this beautiful, wonderful landscape. So of course we're, we do a lot of portraits. Um, one of the things I really love about this is, is the grass is low so we can get down and get this looking up at the bear. I'm actually just laying down, photographing up at this bear with this beautiful background. And, of course, this appeals to my macho size. He's kind of like, are you looking at me? <laughs> and this appeals to my maternal side, mama and her young ones. So the bears just are out in the meadows feeding all the time, but they're always alert and always on the lookout. Um, it was surprising. The, the, the bears actually stood up on their hind legs fairly often. Uh, at this time of year, the the boars are coming down and they know all the females are in this area because this is where they come first to feed so there's a lot of boars wandering around so they're kind of on high alert so they were standing up quite a bit we got a lot of pictures of the bears on their hind legs so after they feed they feed for a while and then of course they sleep and they rest everyone needs, needs a nap love this shot. I love his foot. It's just such a cool, you don't get to take a picture of the bottom of Barry's foot very often. So one of the things they're doing though is they're waiting. They're waiting uh, for the tide to go out because once the tide goes out, they head to the beaches and they're, they're, they can actually, I think they can smell when the tide goes out. So they hang out by the beach and they're waiting for the tide goes out. Once the tide goes out, they head out onto the clam flats. And this is a, a typical scene all around you is surrounded. It's a 360 degree panoramic view of mountains. It's just a, an incredibly beautiful place. But they head out onto the clamming flats and this is what they're doing. They're digging for clams. Um, here's here's uh, a mother pulling up a, a razor. Razor clam. A razor clam. And it's amazing to watch them delicately eat these things. They don't seem to like to eat the shells at all. They can very deftly with their claws and teeth just get the meat out of the clam once the tide comes in the bears head back into the sedge meadows or back into the woods to take another nap 
So one of the things that we really love about this location and this experience is that a lot, of, unlike a lot of the lodges, we're actually on the ground with the bears. We can walk around, we can change positions to get better backgrounds. Um, we can get, you know, right on the ground. A lot of the other uh, places you're, you're relegated to using viewing platforms and hope the bears walk into a good location. We have total control over our backgrounds and, and from what angle we take the pictures, which is a huge benefit. We're often asked, how close are we able to get to the bears? Well, as you can see from this, pretty darn close. We don't approach them this close, but if the bears come up to us, we let that happen. Of course, what we're always looking for are those special shots. Shots like this with mother and cub looking very alert. Um, as I mentioned, there's a lot of boars in the area, so they, they are on their hind feet surprisingly often. We had a, a time when two males came down to the beach and were had a little sparring match, which was super exciting. This lasted, I don't know, it seemed like an hour, but it was really probably about five or ten minutes. Yeah, nobody got hurt. It was just play fun. No bears were, were harmed <laughs> in the filming of this footage. But uh, it was fun to see. They were really powerful and amazingly fast. Yeah. And this, of course, is Mama and her cub going down for a drink. Another special thing we saw was when the mother bear went into the meadow and laid down on her back. The two cubs came on over and they started nursing right in front of us there. Uh, another highlight of this trip for sure was when this cub came up to mom and he's looking at her like, hey mom, want to play? And eventually she did relent and this wonderful play session uh, erupted and they played for probably five or six minutes in, in really shallow water, beautiful light, water was flying all over the place. It was just wonderful to see. Yeah, it was a ton of fun. There was running, there was jumping, there was tackles. It was just really cool to see the whole interaction between the two. Yeah, I think mom, at this point, mom almost let him win a little bit just to yeah. give him a little bit of, uh, of encouragement. It was fun. One of everyone's favorite times was when this bear after playing with mom was just so filled with energy he just had to run it off and he went out and ran right at me I, it was uh, 10 seconds I took 90 pictures it was really awesome so of all of those images uh, this one was definitely my favorite they were all keepers surprisingly my goodness Nikon did a great job with that, their autofocus this, they, they all worked out really well but this was just his paw position in the water and, and the look on his face uh, this was my favorite from that whole entire series after our great bear experience we went down to Whittier where we boarded the kayak chief in order to explore Prince William Sound and here we are inside the cabin of the boat it was nice and roomy and was really comfortable for our whole ride and that there was an outside deck from which we could shoot that worked out really, really well for everybody. There's lots of room for everybody to shoot. And, of course, Prince William Sound is just filled with scenic splendor. This is a giant glacier um, coming down into the sound. We actually got, I think, in the end, we got about a mile away, away from that glacier. Uh, got in pretty close to that glacier. Lots of ice chunks and icebergs floating out in the water. Here are the sights and sounds of a sea lion colony of Prince William Sound. Of course, we were able to do some wonderful portraits of the sea lions. Um, really fun to see these guys. This guy's waving goodbye. Of course, there are marine birds. We saw kitty wakes and mirrors and all kinds of other things. Of course, the stars are always the puffins. There were two types of puffins. Uh, both uh, horned and, and tufted puffins. We did see the tufted puff puffins, didn't get any really great shots of them, but it was fun to see those beautiful, uh, beautiful birds. And then there's the harbor seals. They seem to enjoy hanging out on the ice and uh, taking in a little bit of warmth from the sun. And there were even pups, which was cool to see. My favorite from the sound was not only the beautiful scenery, but the, uh, the sea otters. We got really great sea otters. We had this one situation with the sea, water, sea otter up on a, on a chunk of ice, which was really cool. He was posing pretty well for us. We did have sea otters with pups. The we pups did. were a little bit bigger, but they, they were kind of skittish. They didn't let us in very close. This guy looks like he knew he was getting his picture taken. Oh, no. 
And then here's the group that joined us on this adventure. Uh, this was a scouting trip, so most of the times we fill these by invitation only. So these are all uh, people who've been with us on many trips and just, just a lot of fun and a great group of people. We had an awesome time with you guys, and uh, we loved sharing this adventure with you. You were, you were the best. Thanks. Hey, thanks a lot for uh, stopping by and checking out this video. Uh, if you'd like to check out this trip or one of the other trips we do, we do trips all over the world. Uh, check out our website. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our channel uh, by clip it, clicking on the subscribe button to the left, or you can check out this next video on the right-hand side of the screen. Thanks.